Hello guys and welcome to my new video and I'm super excited today to talk about a tool that's used by so many healers to optimize their healing gear, their azurite, their essences, their corruption, their trinkets for DPS, for healing, for everything. And this is questionably epic live and it's something that I've been using on stream at all times and people have been asking me questions about it, how to use it, how to import my own stat priorities, how to compare gear and things like that. So this video is going to be covering questionably epic live we'll be looking at some of their key features and that includes comparing your azurite gear where you can compare the azurite for mythic plus for raids you have to keep this in mind this works for mythic plus and raids and it works for any healing spec at this point there are some features that are available to only patrons that include some of the beta stuff but it's well worth the investment if you really really want to optimize your class we'll be looking like i mentioned azurite gear comparisons we are be looking at trinkets and this tool includes DPS of a certain trinket because guess what? In Mythic Plus environment, a lot of the healers will be looking for trinkets that output the most DPS besides the healing troop. But we'll be looking at other gear comparisons. So this section of the actual tool itself, Question of Epic Live, will include corruption as well. So corruption effects will showcase or at least gear with corruption effects will show you how much better it is than your other non-corrupted items. We'll be looking at essences and there's another really cool tool that I use quite often, especially when the new patch 8.3 has hit, Residum Roller. And that is basically, once you have enough Titan Residum currency saved open, you're kind of wondering, should I get the new helm, the shoulders or the chest, which is going to be the biggest upgrade? Which item has the highest chance of giving me an upgrade and is that upgrade going to be big enough? And another tool that we kind of got exclusive preview of is Corruption Optimizer. And honestly, this looks really, really great. As I'm making this video, it's not available right now, but I've been promised it's going to be done very, very, very soon. And basically, it will give you the list of the best corrupted pieces that you have in your bags or you have equipped. And it'll give you an option of which gear to use based on how much corruption you're comfortable with. So all of a sudden, maybe you only want 30 corruption. So it'll give you the pieces that you can wear they give you the best throughput per corruption level basically or you can also use or include dps corruptions as well so again remember when i said healers are still looking for those dps pieces and dps corruptions can still be very very strong but this tool in itself corruption optimizer is looking to be very 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 popular because i know so many people are confused about what corruption is good how can i optimize the pieces that i have and minimize the corruption level that I'm comfortable with. Now, I should mention a small disclaimer because a lot of people will refer to Questionably Epic as Healer Sims, which is actually not the correct way to refer to it because if you're coming from a DPS background, you're probably fully aware of the DPS tools that are available there where you can just input your character's items, your talent setup, and all of a sudden the website or tools will generate a stat priority for you, will generate the best gear for you. With healers, it's a lot different because at this given point, you can't really do that. You have to input your own logs. You have to input your own spell breakdown. And then after that, this tool, because it uses spreadsheets for multiple different classes and things like that, it's all combined, will generate stat priority for you. So keep in mind, we are using your own logs, or if you cannot do that, maybe you don't even know what logs are, maybe you're not sure how to do it, maybe it's all too complicated for you, Questionably Epic will provide you with a default stat priority that is generated from... I think the top 100 logs of your given class and it'll take those logs and generate a stat priority that can be associated with your character again it's not really coming from your spell breakdown but it's a very very good starting point but later in the video we'll show you how to import your own stats based on the fight that you're progressing in raids and things like that so keep this in mind so let's get started with importing your character and in this case i'm going to import my paladin his name is mad heels he's from raven quest alliance eu and now we can begin and the tool itself is going to give you the character spec again it's a holy paladin and the race is human and we can begin the whole process of setting up your stat priority you can see here it's already kind of trying to help you with how to optimize it and I'm going to go through all of this at this given point to simplify the whole process for you. The most important thing that we can see right now is the bottom left. You can see Raid and Mythic Plus. This tab changes your stat priority and your gear options for Mythic Plus and Raids. And it's important to fill in them both if you want to optimize your character for those both environments. So, for example, in Raid, you can see this S here, which is your stat priority. Straight away, you can see that it was imported by the tool without me having to do anything. 
So this is the default stat priority that a lot of the top Holy Paladins will be used to in raid environment. You can see that Haze is one of the best stats. You can see Master is good. You can see the Intellect is quite poor because guess what? Glimmer of Light doesn't really scale with Intellect and Secondaries are far more important. So you can see straight away this is a good base to build on. After that, you will see Azerite gear. And this is where you have to fill in the current Azerite gear that you have. Because this thing, this section, will be used by other options in the tools. For example, Residum Roller will use the gear that you input in your raid, in the raid section here, to determine which piece with Titan Residum should you try and roll and try and get lucky with. So very, very important. Again, this is going to be the same thing that you have to do for Mythic Plus. So if you fill in the raid section, you will also have to fill in the mythic plus section. So for example, let's go back to my character. And my character has a greater helm of uh, phantasm reality, riding shoulders of madness, and breastplate of twilight devastation. Let's input those manually into the tool itself. So now that I have my pieces set up, you can see here my raid setup is done. So again, if I wanted to do the same thing, I would have to fill it in in Mythic Plus because guess what? Sometimes you will have different setups for your Mythic Plus and raids. But let's look at raid first. So now we have our Azerite gear, we have our stat priority. Now I want to go through most of the features that Questionably Epic offers. And so let's start off with Azerite. The first thing you'll see here is that you're able to input the Azerite neck level content ty type if you want to do raids on Mythic Plus. If you're glimmered in or a standard build, of course, a lot of people will be using Glimmer of Light. How many loyal to the end traits you have. This is from Eternal Palace. Most likely people are not using this anymore. And if you want to include Heart of Darkness. Heart of Darkness is the new Azerite trait. And it's very, very good. And you should include yes, especially if you're going to do raid scenarios. And now you can see you can input all of the Azerite pieces that's currently available. To save time, and this is very, very important tip, and I'm sure a lot of people will really want this, install an add-on called Simulation Craft. Simulation Craft is a very small add-on, and then go into your game, type in forward slash simc, you will get a whole string here, control C to copy everything, you can click OK, then go back to the questionably epic tool, you will see the simc option here, you click on this button, Control V to paste everything here and import. What this does, it provides all of the gear sets that you have in your bags and currently equipped so you don't have to manually add everything. This will save you so much time. It's 100%. You 100% should do this right now. So you can see right now, this is all my pieces here. I can compare them. You can see my 470, my 475, my 460. And now I have 77 neck level. I want to compare my raid environment with Glimmerdin. I click compare and now it will give me a setup that is most optimized for raids so you can see i have my avenger smite i have my glimmer of course there's going to be glimmer in every single piece you can see here heart of darkness is very very strong as well it gives you a lot of value and this is the setup that's going to give me a good return when i'm doing raid environments you can also go to top five setups and see what differences for example if I went with Avenger Smite instead of Heart of Darkness, it would have been a 0.5 decrease in, in my healing. So you can see the top 5 setups as well if you want to kind of change a few things. Again, this is very, very good. And if I want to go to Mythic Plus, I can do the same thing. Change it to Mythic Plus and click Compare. And now we'll see a setup that's going to be relatively good for Mythic Plus. You can see here that Avenger Smite was kind of replaced with Radiant Incandescence and things like that. And you can notice how easy it is to use, especially if you use SimC. Now, let's go back and compare other things or other features, things like trinkets. So right now, I can do the same thing. I can go to SimC and copy or paste my SimC string. This string is going to import all of the trinkets that I have at this given point. You can see here, there's a lot of trinkets here. And I can select Mythic Plus or Raid. I want to go and compare Raids. Another important thing here is that you have, you can enter your own logs. And I'll talk about this very, very, very soon. So for example, I want to look at raids. I don't want to show trinket DPS. I can click compare and it's telling me that Alchemist Stone is providing me a lot of HPS. My Vita Charge trinket with Leech is one of the best trinkets that I have right now. And these are my two clear options. If I want to go to Mythic Plus and if I want to show DPS of the trinkets, I can click yes. And then now I can see that the third sentence is giving me a lot of healing, but it's not really giving me a lot of DPS. While Vita Charge, Titan Shard, decent amount of healing, decent amount of DPS. You can see that Forbidden Obsidian Claw, that's from Maw, second boss, is an insane trinket 
to do with the dps it's one of the best dps trinkets again nautilus if you have a high level it can do a huge amount of dps as well so now you can kind of consider hey do i want to go more dps or do i want to go more healing a lot of the times if you're progressing higher content you'll want to consider the dps aspect a little bit more because there's not a lot of fights that will have a really heavy healing check at this given point again you can manually add trinkets if you want but if you use the sim c it's going to work really well as well other gear and other gear can be very very interesting because it will include corrupted sets as you can see here the purplish ones i kind of have corruption mastery proc and it's telling me how much better it is you can see the corrupted pieces are so much better than for example 430 with the crit proc is going to be a little well substantially better than my 460 item with crit mastery and this is in raid situations and i can go to my boots I can see that I have a lot of corrupted boots as well. You can go to gloves. You can see that my master recruit leech gloves are still substantially better than my 450 with the socket or even 470. Because leech can be can be very, very strong, especially in raid environments. You can go to pants. You can go to rings. Rings can be very, very, very interesting to compare as well. You can see my 470 ring with glimpse of clarity and things like that. You can see that my ring with leech is still insanely strong because leech for paladins is very very good you can go and compare weapons and off hands and then wrists so again this is going to be very very popular for people who want to compare their corruption and there's going to be a new corruption optimizer feature coming out soon which is going to even simplify this process so now let's go to residue roller so this is going to showcase what piece should i use or try to gamble with my titan residue so right now you can, again, input your own log if you want. But my Azerite neck level is 77. It's been imported through Sim C itself. So now I want to compare Raid. I want to get Glimmered in. The token level, I have enough to buy a Mythic level token. Let's assume that. So I'm going to roll right now. And this is going to be giving me an option of what pieces are going to give me the biggest upgrade. So you can see straight away that there's a couple of upgrades that I can get. Now you can see that Overseas Riot Helmet is looking to be like a really big increase. But everything else is pretty small you can see in terms of chest there's very very small upgrades that i don't really want to take a chance on again the chance of an upgrade is very high but the average power increased if upgrade is very very small and you can see that shoulders is one of the best options right now because the average power increase is going to be 2.4 percent and guess why that is because with tank booster pole joints or locked jaw shoulder pads you're able to get this retribution light stick trait which is going to increase the uptime or the length of wings and it's going to be very 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 strong so now i can consider should i roll it on my shoulders and i probably will because i have a feeling that i will get mythic level helm pretty soon or somewhere close to it and i really want this specific azeroid trait there is a 28 percent chance of an increase it's quite low when compared to other pieces but if i get the right piece the increase is going to be very very substantial so you can use this tool as well to see or to showcase what kind of azurite traits you'll be using with the new piece as well now to go back to what i was saying at the start in terms of the disclaimers you can see here that the starter when you start using the tool questionably epic will give you the stat priority that is based on like the top 100 logs from the players of your class so this is the default stat priority it's not exactly a stat priority that is generated by you the same with mythic plus you can see the stat priority is a little bit different but it's not really generated for your play style so if you really want to optimize your stat priority for let's say a boss that you're stuck in nihilota you're progressing a certain boss and you want to really optimize what trinkets to use for that you can go to the trinket section and you can import first of all you can import the sim c to see all of the trinkets that are available to you we did this before but we're doing this again just to showcase it so you can see all the trinkets have been imported and the general consensus would be on my alchemy stone and my vita charge titan shard with leech on it being one of the best hps increasing trinkets based on that stat priority that was generated by questionably epic but you can see right here there's an option to enter a log so in order to do that you need to go to warcraft logs if you're familiar with warcraft logs you know that a lot of the times your raid performance is going to be logged and it's going to be stored on the warcraftlogs.com website where you're able to see what kind of ranking you got to see the spell breakdown and basically what the tool questionably epic will do it'll look at your performance look at the spell breakdown and it'll determine trinkets that were probably the most vital for that part of the fight or for the fight that you're trying to look up so just copy the top information or the url of the log 
at the very top, control C to copy it and go back to questionably epic. Once you're there, just control V or paste the link and click fetch long. This will show you the attempts of the bosses that you did. You can select which one you want to see. For example, I'll try and look at Shatar. Our two and a half minute kill, I'll select myself. There were two paladins there and I click lock in. And now you can see if I click compare, the numbers are going to be generated or the trinket numbers are going to be generated based or aiming at that current fight. So you can see here that my alchemy stone was insane. You can see here that my Vita charge trinket was insane as well. The result is the same. I should be using those two trinkets, but you can see how much HPS they generated towards that one given fight. Again, leech was insanely, insanely strong because my Vita charge talent shard has leech on it. And Shatar is relatively good fight for leech. So you can see why that trinket was doing so, so well. And if you really want to optimize it, you can use your own Warcraft logs. Now, another thing that I want to show you really, really quickly, stat priority that is going to be generated by WoW Analyzer. And then you can control V, the Warcraft log link into WoW Analyzer. You can select your healer and this will load up Shatar the Insatiable log. And it'll show me the checklist of the things that I might have been doing wrong. It'll go to statistics. And in statistics, you can see your stat priority for this given fight. You can see that crit was quite high. You can see haste was one of my best stats. Mastery was good versatility as well. And you can use these stat weights in your questionably epic live tool to optimize your healer even more. So you can click on it and this will bring me to the, the tool itself and it will import the stat priority. You can see here stat weights imported. You can go to the stats and you can see all of a sudden haste is one of the best stats. Vers versatility is good. Mastery is good. Leech was insanely good for that as well. And you can use this to optimize your gear sets yet again. You don't have to do all of this because questionably epic gives you this kind of by default. But if you really want to optimize and find stat priority for your healer, WoW Analyzer, Warcraft Logs work really, really well and they're tools to be used if you really want to get higher HPS numbers, higher DPS numbers as a healer as well. And Questionably Epic, by default, is an amazing tool that simplifies the whole process. It's used by me almost on a daily basis and I can't wait for this Corruption Optimizer to come out. You also have Essences as well where you can compare which Essences to use if you want to in finance and Raid situations. So there is a lot of things that you can optimize, that you can look into it. It's really not as complicated and I hope this video really helps with this. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it wasn't too long. The tool is really not that complicated. Once you get used to it, you can use the default stat weights. You can import your own stat weights from tools like WoW Analyzer or Warcraft Logs. They work really, really well. And with everything that I mentioned here, you should be able to determine, hey, is this 430 leech piece going to be better than my 460? All of these things should help you to optimize your corruption gear because corruption is so complicated at this given point and it's going to be it's going to help you a lot. Let me know how you feel about this tool, Questionary Epic Live. Let me know if you like the video. If you like it, please do subscribe. It helps me to continue to do these kind of guides. Thank you guys and I'll see you in my next video.